Okie dokie. All right, so I'm going to kind of repeat myself with what I talked about with Crash. You need to ride like you're training. Gus has improved immensely since the last video, I think. Um, you just have to keep it up, but I want you to stop keeping, stop being soft with your hands. Pick them up. What you need to do to develop that top line on him is a lot of transitions, but a lot of picking up that rib cage. He's really deep. He's got that big belly. He's big in that rib cage. Um, you need to ride his body. When you're on him, really think about riding from the shoulders back. Forget about his face. And I think this is the toughest for you because you you like to, with your background, you want to go face first. You want to go hands first. Um, so really think about that. If you're going to go hands, don't sit and brace and pull. Pick him up and pick up his rib cage with your seat and legs. And just think it. You're picking up that rib cage, driving him on that hind end. The more you do that, the more he'll soften that rib cage, the more he'll use it. Another thing you can do, and I'm going to talk about it more over the jumps, but but remember we used to do the the bendy circles, like like the big bendy circles, picking up their shoulders um, in a circle. You can do that with him at the trot and at the lope. Um, come out of them, bendy circle the other way, come out of it, go the other direction. Um, a lot of that, that's going to help him pick up that rib cage. Now with his hips, he's a lot better, you can see. When you disengage his hips, he's a lot softer through his rib cage with that. So that's a good thing. I want you to ride spurs with him. Same thing. Um, I want you to really ride that body. You have to remember not to be bracing, not to fight him with your hands. Um, this canter looks amazing. There's really good pieces of it. And then he gets a little hollow. Whenever that head goes up, he's hollow. That's when I want you to think about raising those hands, lifting up, driving him into the bit. If you just keep your hands still and down, that helps him brace and be more hollow. A lot of transitions. This trot, whew, this trot, really, really nice. Kind of pick up those hands, help him a little more, give him a bit more rein, more body. When you stop, see how you want to kind of brace and sit back. Um, really think about that. Think about exhaling and sitting down. Um, raise your hands for that stop to try to keep him in that frame, to keep him softer. Don't brace and stiffen. Exhale and sit deep. Uh, again, uh, I think he looks great when he starts to fall apart. You've got the bendy circles, a lot of transitions. Same thing that I talked about with crash. When you work on your patience and your hesitation in those transitions. If he pops that head up and gets hollow, a lot of seat, a lot of leg, hold it until he gets round again, then complete your transition. Um, be it if you're asking him to lope, trot off, stop, back, whatever. Hold him, get him round and soft. Make him hold it more. Um, a lot of work with the hips, a whole bunch with the disengaging hips. Um, okay, so you also, you kind of let them fade into their stop. I want you to try to get them to slam on the brakes a little bit more. You can always adjust it for showing, but when you sit and exhale, I don't want them running through your hands, trotting and leaning on your hands. Like right here, you can do it again soon. You kind of let them trot and fade into a stop. I want you to sit, draw, and draw up. And I want that stop to happen because when you let him fade into it, that's when they get hollow. We want him to stop on that hind end, drive, lift up his rib cage, drive into his face. Um, and that's with anything. When he starts getting hollow, like here, when that head starts to come up, pick up your hands, draw him up a little bit, drive that body into his face, get him round again. If that doesn't work, go into a big bendy circle. And keep asking until he gets round. See right there, you kind of fade, trot, and he stops hollow and you have to brace. I want you to sit, exhale, lift him up. Practice as a trainer, not like you're showing. We want that foundation to be steady and filled in. 
All right, the jump bean. Again, same thing. Soften, breathe. He doesn't like people riding his face when he jumps. And you like to kind of brace and hold. You don't do it as much with him as with Crash. I want you to practice the same thing with both of them. Like here, sit, breathe, relax, breathe. Nice. Breathe. So you're getting embracing and holding him. You Again, change it up. If he's going into that jump a little too fast, you don't like it, circle. Do something. Change it up. Stop back and then trot it. He can jump a jump from the trot. Nice. That's nice. See, you're getting a little bracy. He's speeding up. Breathe and relax. If he sped up through it, like right here, keep cantering around, and I do another one, but slow down, breathe. Breathe, breathe, think about your breathing. Breathe, 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 perfect. Um, leads. I'm going to talk more on your other video, but I think part of your lead problem with him is your riding his face too much or more than he likes and he's getting stiff and he's not listening to you we need to get you off his face get you soft get you trusting him get you right in that body and then that lead will come you can change it over the fence he does have a change it is rusty but he has one but when you ride his face he's not going to listen to you at all so again i kind of put these jumping videos back to back just to watch a lot and just to reiterate, right here, breathe, breathe, breathe. You get that little speed up right before the jump. And I kind of think it's a little more you than your horses because you want to brace. The second you brace and sit and kind of drive, that drives them forward. That doesn't slow them down, that pulling and bracing. See, breathe right there. That was perfect. You didn't think about it, and it was perfect. Breathe. That was a little short. That's all right. Again, come through here. You got time to breathe. You got time to relax. Pick up your hands. Even at a show, you could lift your hands just an inch or two just to get yourself to sit and breathe. Pick up your hands an inch here. Perfect. Pick up your hands instead of pulling down and bracing. Perfect. Really want you to think about that. And I don't mean picking up your hands three feet in the air. I mean just lift it an inch or two. Be soft so you can ride his body. And let him know you're not hauling on his face. And you're not truly hauling, but that's what he thinks. You've changed a lot. It looks a ton better than last time. Again, soft. Don't be bracing in your hands. This is where you should breathe. Good. Really nice. I think you guys look fantastic. Um, you could throw some disengagements in here. If you're looking for a change, you could... Um, Hang on, let me see what you're doing here. You could come down this line. And then right there, you could have stopped, completely disengaged, and then picked up the other lead instead of tr instead of breaking down it and doing a simple with a trot. There's nothing wrong with the simple, but sometimes that makes them get super hollow. So use both. Sometimes break down for the simple. Sometimes stop, completely disengage, and then canter out of it. Again, when you are riding and practicing, it's practice. Not practice on looking perfect. It's practice on practicing on making you guys look good. So a lot of slow jump fence for fence. Fix things in between. Um, again, and you're riding that body. He will change if you ride that body. If you go into your hands over that jump, he's going to brace and not listen with his hip at all. I mean, you guys have some really good lines there. And there you got Bracey. And you didn't think about the change because you got Bracey on the jump. Trust him. If he rushes a tad, just breathe and relax. Don't add to it. Pulling and bracing only is going to make him rush more. If you relax and just kind of give it to him, he'll, he's going to come back to you. Or work in between your jumps. All right, I have like another minute of this. Again, perfect, soft, 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 nice. Breathe. You've got to ride his body. He's so simple. Don't make him harder. I think you're starting to get him. I think you're starting to figure it out. Just slow and steady.